Chariots, a Neil Mall with the Canadian Securities Exchange. And as part of our Investing in Psychedelics series, Building Value Through IP, today I'm talking to Cher Butt. Cher is involved with CB Therapeutics, and I'll let him talk to us a little bit more about what they do. Cher, thank you for your time. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much, Neil, for uh, having me here. I'm so excited to be a uh, part of this. So thanks again. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. So, Cher, why don't we um, begin by you giving us a brief intro to yourself? Who are you? Um, so, so I started, uh, you know, getting interested in um, psychedelics and, and cannabis back in, uh, you know, right after graduating college. So I did my undergrad in uh, biochemistry from UC Davis. And right after that, I, I joined a company called Steep Hill, which is the largest cannabis testing lab in the world. Uh, I was the lab director there. So I enabled, uh, back then it was obviously a, a very a rudimentary operation. So I brought in mass spec testing. I did. I started doing pesticide testing, microbiological contaminants, uh, things of that nature. Did that for about two years. I got a better offer from a pharmaceutical company called Novartis Pharmaceuticals. Uh, went there, worked there for about two years with the FDA. I helped commercialize two different drugs, did some stability testing studies, things like that. At that point, I, I realized I wanted to you know, start a company that made uh, different types of cannabinoids and other molecules. So I quit my job and I went to a business school full-time here in San Diego, UCSD. Uh, while I was here in business school, I got an offer to be a co-founder for another cannabis testing lab called CB Labs. So I did that and uh, we successfully launched in two months from a warehouse to a full lab in about two months that's still going on today. And then, uh, you know, that the year later I, I founded CB Therapeutics and uh, the goal was to uh, create um, CBD and about 12 other cannabinoids in yeast. So the idea was that we would use a process that was very green. There's no, uh, you know, there's no requirements for water. It's very cheap to make. It makes pure product every single time. And uh, that's how we got started into this. Got it. So CB Therapeutics is involved in the psychedelic space. You want to maybe give our viewers just a small introduction to CB Therapeutics? As sure. Well? So the, the company was started back in uh, 2016 uh, when myself and my uh, co-founder, Dr. Jacob Bogan. Uh, the funny thing is uh, Jacob and I are uh, good friends and roommates from undergrad. So uh, when I was setting up uh, the company, the other company, CB Labs, I ran, out, ran into him at a bar in Berkeley and we started talking about, hey, you're, you know, he was finishing his PhD and starting his postdoc at Berkeley in bioengineering. So I said, hey, I understand the cannabis market. You understand the biotech side. Let's, let's combine forces and do something. So that's how CB Therapeutics was born. So we had, you know, myself who understood the business side, the cannabis side, and he understood, uh, you know, the actual science of it. So we started the company. We got some funding. Initially, we were focused on creating, uh, like I said, different types of cannabinoids in yeast. So I started the company in 2016 and uh, we raised some funding about 2.2 million and then uh, went on to Y Combinator, raised another fund out of there. Uh, during YC, we really got interested in psychedelics and I believe we are the first private company in the world to make psilocybin, 10 or 12 other uh, molecules in mushrooms in yeast, file patents on those. We're also de facto the first company in the world to make DMT, uh, many variants of DMT, and now we're working on many other uh, different types of psychedelics. So I think, uh, you know, as the market evolves, you know, the the, uh, the the mission statement for CB Therapeutics is we want to be the company with the largest number of molecules that are reverse engineered in yeast. And the reason being is, you know, the cost drops by a magnitude of 20 to 100 X just by switching over. Uh, we're not, you know, going, uh, we're making products that is completely pure, things of that nature, and you're able to make analogs. So there's multiple different reasons why we, uh, we think this is going to be the future moving forward. Got it. Cher, I know we featured you as well as CB Therapeutics late last year uh, right. when we hosted our um, Investing in Psychedelics first part of the series. Right. And so for anybody that is joining us for the first time this time around, um, mm -hmm. what can our attendees and viewers expect to take away from this uh, series? You know, I, I think for, for me, obviously there's other other panelists and, and uh, what they bring to the table, but I think for the thing that I could probably provide some insight is, uh, you know, the psychedelic industry, I think is going to be huge. Uh, I think the amount of uh, problems, uh, health problems and things that it addresses is phenomenal uh, to say the least. I mean, if you look at any other industry, I think there's just massive potential here. And, and the best thing about it that I personally like is that it's just so brand new. So, you know, when you're coming into a new industry, you're able to sort of shape it, you're able to sort of uh, take some space up in it. So I think uh, 
you know, out of all the things that we've personally done here at CB Therapeutics, the most exciting part is we're the world's first to make these molecules in yeast and that, and sort of continue that tradition of innovation. So I think for me personally, uh, you know, the, the best part about it is not only, you know, obviously creating these molecules and filing IP, but, you know, we have a partnership with the Cleveland Clinic, so we will be launching uh, clinical trials pretty soon. So I'm excited about, you know, pushing out medicines and molecules that could have a huge impact on people's mental health and wellness. So I think, I think for me, that's the most exciting part about this. Absolutely. And well said. Uh, for anybody watching that has not signed up, remember, it's a free sign up. Um, and, and this Investing in Psychedelic series is brought to you by not only the Canadian Securities Exchange, but we've got Zuber Lawler out of uh, LA, as well as several other states in the US and CFN Media participating in this. So it's going to turn out into another exciting series. And I really look forward to hearing from you more uh, about the company and the space in general. Awesome. Thank you so much, Anil. This was a pleasure. Thank you again, Chair. Thank you.